Hello, it's Sahna and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome and please subscribe to join the family. So this is my everyday makeup look and if you want to know how I get this chocolatey bronzy goddess looking like makeup, please give me a like. So I'm gonna get up close and personal to work on my eyebrows so I'm just brushing them upwards with my spoolie and then I'm gonna use my Anastasia deep brow pomade to make them darker or just to follow the arch of my brows and lengthen it a little bit on the tip. And to conceal, I will be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Chestnut. I'm just gonna use that to just to conceal under my eyebrows. For the top, I'll be using the foundation instead. So now I will be moving on to the face and to prime my face, I'll be using my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This primer is really good you guys, it, you can check it out if you want to. And for foundation, I'll be using my Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 470. This shade matches my face, but it doesn't match my chest. As you can see, my face is like two shades darker than the rest of my body. But I like to go with a foundation that matches my face. So then I can go ahead and conceal it with a lighter concealer. And now I'm going to conceal the top of my brow using the foundation like I told you guys. I'm just going to follow the arc of it and everything. So now I'll be going back with the concealer, the chestnut concealer to conceal everywhere that I need to conceal like under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my chin, my uh, cupid bow, my nose and my forehead. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Beauty Blender to blend all the places that I just highlighted. You wanna make sure that you take your time, don't brush, cause if you do, you're gonna put the concealer all over your face and you can fix that, but that's just a long process and you don't want that. Yeah. So after I do that, after I blend everything, I'm gonna go ahead in with my with the same brush I use for my foundation, just so I can remove all the harsh lines um between the concealer and the foundation. Yeah. And I'm gonna use with a lighter shade concealer. This is the ColourPop in dark 42 to conceal to highlight under my eyes and just a little bit of my nose. And I will use a flat brush to blend that in. And then I will later go in with the beauty blender to make sure there is no harsh lines. And 
and to contour my face i'll be going with this juvia's face number two concealer this is so pigmented you guys it's so good i love the color of it so much as a contour if you're this skin color baby you're beautiful like this is chocolate goddess like this is so beautiful I'm gonna go in with a real technic brush. This brush is really good for contouring your face because it's kind of like an angled brush and it's not too big or too small, so it gets the job done. I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna go upwards and in circular motion to take it up to my, you know, just to give you that snatch look. I'm gonna go in with an angle blending brush to brush um to contour my nose just like so. I'm gonna make sure I take it up to my eyebrows. And next, I'll just go in with the Beauty Blender to remove any hash lines between the contour and the and the concealer. And to set my concealer in my face, I'll be using this Cover D setting powder to set everything down. And I'm going to use the same powder to reverse contour my cheekbones, non-existent cheekbones. <laughs> but yeah, that's just what I'm going to do. And for brighter on the eye, I'm going to go with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and just apply it under my eyes. It helps fall. I did that so the fallout won't be on my face too. So, and I was baking too. I don't know if people don't bake no more, but like I do sometimes because it still, it still looks nice to me. And I just use my bronzer as an eyeshadow and put that all over my eyelid. And I'm gonna set my nose contour with the same bronzer too. This is the Fenty Beauty Mocha Mami bronzer. And I'm gonna do my eyeshadow now. I wanted to have a cut crease, not nothing crazy. I just wanted everything to look so nude. So I'm just gonna cut my crease with the with the um ColourPop concealer, and then I'm gonna just apply a really light 
color um eyeshadow from the the Bretman Rocks palette and I will go in with the bronzer to remove to blend it in. And I'm gonna use the same color on my lower lash line too and I will go in with a black eyeliner. And next I will just do my eyeliner. This is the NYX matte liquid liner. And then I'm just gonna dust off the powder that I put under my eyes. I did set my face, but I lost that clip. But yeah, and to bronze, I'm using the Mocha Mami bronzer from Fenty Beauty. And next, I'm just gonna highlight with this palette that I don't remember the name because it was given to me by a friend. And next, I'm just gonna line my lips with a black liner that I use on my water lash line. And for lip gloss, I'm using my Fenty Beauty lip gloss. Don't remember the name, but I will just put all the products down below for you guys. So in case you're interested, you can just check it out. So I wanted to be more bronzy, you know. So I, for blush, I wanted the Juvia's Place palette. This is a Zulu palette as a blush. I used the orange shade on the palette. Yeah, and that is so cute. Do you guys see the difference? I love it so much. And this is the finished look. Thank you for watching. Bye.